Located in Akihabara's main shopping street, Trader is one of the best places to find retro game deals in Tokyo. The ground level is mostly modern console games, but walk up to the second floor to find stacks of old games and consoles. Sailor Moon had a few good games released on the Super Famicom that unfortunately never came out in America. You can get your fix with these games priced from $25 to $35. These white Super Famicom memory cartridges were kind of digital distribution before there was digital distribution. After buying a blank cartridge, you could go to a convenience store and download ROMs at a price much cheaper than the normal release. This $90 cart has Castlevania, Rondo of Blood, and Contra 3. The other end of the row is Fire Emblem Thrakia 776 for $20, which is a lot cheaper than the boxed version priced at $150. Japanese GameCube games have shot up in value recently, and here you can get the phenomenal shooter Ikaruga for $60, which isn't a bad deal. Trader might have the cheapest copies of Earthbound in all of Tokyo. The highly prized Game Boy Advance ports of Mother 1 and 2 for $60 and Mother 3 for $44. Mother 2 for the Super Famicom is $16. Compare that to the average eBay price of $175 for the American Earthbound. If you want it, this complete copy is just $25. The Dreamcast died young, but new games are still being released to this day. These shooters are about 44 bucks, brand new. In America, Panzer Dragoon Saga is an extremely expensive game, often going for above $300, but this Japanese version is $25. You can't call it a Saturn collection without some shooters, and I'd highly recommend Parodius. Japanese retro games tend to be cheaper than their American versions, but that isn't always the case. This copy of Turtles in Time for the Super Famicom is $240. On the other hand, common games are much more plentiful and affordable. You can get Super Mario Kart for less than $20, and my all-time favorite, Super Mario RPG for $22 complete in box. They even have a link to the past for $26. Here's some loose Neo Geo fighting games, the only cheap games you'll find for the system. Making a rare appearance is a Nintendo Entertainment System at $50, cheap especially by Akihabara standards. If you want the Japanese version, you'll have to fork over $100, or you could get one in the box for $120. Inside this box is a Dead or Alive Kasumi Blue Xbox console. I wish I could have bought it, but $200 was steep, even for me. It might have a 5 foot long Kasumi pillowcase included, something they thought was a seriously good idea. Moving on to the Sega Genesis slash Mega Drive, Trader has probably the best prices around. You can get Golden Axe 2 for $24, along with a large selection of shooters. You can even find American games, if you really want to come all the way to Japan to buy American Genesis games. It doesn't say if it works or not, but you can pick up a Famicom Disk System in the box for $93. At $60 for Game Boy Pockets complete in box, these are a rare find, even in Japan. Of all the retro game stores in Tokyo, Trader hits the sweet spot of being easy to find with a good selection of games at affordable prices. Be careful though, because it might not always have the best prices, though I'd say on average it beats most Akihabara shops. Trader won't have the rarest games, but you can save a lot of money by shopping there. Of course, when shopping for Japanese retro games, remember, it's always cheaper somewhere else. Thanks for watching and mahalo.